a shame we didn't get any backstory on this guy. I don't mind, like, random boss fights where you just run into some random hulked out dude, but with as much uh, humor and uh, characterization as they're able to work into this game, I would love to see some backstory on what what, what is this giant, uh, like, roided up broken gladiator doing in here. Alright, look out. And here he is. Get him. Boom. Bonk. Alright, should be the last one. Of course, he, uh, turned away from us. Makes it a little more challenging. Uh, boom. Get him. For some undefined reason, punching you in your chest buckle has defeated you. We are the victors! Ha <laughs> ha! Can I grab these uh, multiplicators before I grab all this stuff? Yeah. Bouncing on your back. What do you think about that? Uh, boom! Butt bounce. Oh, there's even more. Uh, oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Where's all this stuff coming from? Woohoo! What is, how many of these things are gonna keep on coming out? Can I just like sit here and get infinite uh, things? That looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah, they're still coming down. This could be a, uh, a bug. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to be able to get just infinite helmets for this. I'm not gonna use this too terribly much. Oh, nope, that was all the helmets we got. Okay, cool. They just gave you a ton of helps for being boss. Which is nice of them. It's a pretty big uh, boss arena, actually. A lot bigger than most of the spaces we've been exploring. Is that ampersand? Like, a, like not ampersand, I'm sorry. An at sign? Like an email at sign over there on the gate? Looks like it. And some kind of bull sign above that. Which I should be able to recognize. That's probably another video game reference. I just don't get it. Alright, so presumably the druid is the here. Help him, Obelix. Do you know where Getafix is, Batamix? What's going on? Getafix betrayed us. Because of him, we were forced to help Caesar and his engineers make his legionaries stronger. Was that one of them outside? Ah, yes, Death Pass is a guinea pig. He's a test model. Imagine what will happen when Caesar's whole army is composed of legionaries like him. I don't believe that Getafix is a traitor, Batamix. There must be an expert. He's a traitor! And I'm going to denounce him personally to the Order of Druids. I always thought I'd make a rather fine ground droid myself. Okay, well, traitor or no traitor, we still have to find him quickly. What, what is this? Am I supposed to be pressing these buttons? I understand. Is this, quick, is this a quick time bit? What's going on? Or is that just like, uh... I have like a new ability. I don't. I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we've unlocked a new level at least, possibly a new ability as well. I think that's what that uh, that little movie was trying to show me, but I didn't pay attention to what the button combo that was. X O square X O X something something I don't I don't, I don't know. All right, back to the main area. Are we going to have to fight uh, more Roman soldiers to get back? Doesn't look that way. No, cool. All right, save real quick. Already twenty percent through the game. Seems like a somewhat short game. Although, part of that could have to do with the fact that I don't think I've seen a whole lot in the way of, like, uh, bonus optional 
uh, content, you know. Uh, there is those those pink helmets, like the really rare helmets. And it seems like you had to do something special to get to those. Um, and there's also the postcards you can buy if you have enough helmets. But beyond that, it doesn't seem like there's any, like, you know, t taking like a Spyro game where you have to do an extra challenge to get some orbs, you know. Uh, looks like it's pretty much just a linear progression. Uh, it's a face there. Just a masked face. Okay. I'm trying to be careful to make sure I don't miss any clever references. Now, do I have to backtrack all the way through th this zone? Or is there a way I could. Seems like there should be a way that I could fast travel, right? One would think. I'm very surprised. I guess this is one issue with like a fairly um, little world setup is that uh, with the, without some kind of hub world to teleport between, it's getting between levels is kind of a chore. Um, you know, I would cite it as an example uh, something like Rayman 2. Uh, well, actually, maybe Rayman 3 even. Oh, I can't remember that right now. Allow me to, to do anything besides save the game. Can I like select different? Uh, save in a new slot just to be uh, safe. Oh, well, if I exit the level. Nope, never mind. That just uh, takes me back to the, to the main menu. No, I, I remember in uh, Rayman 2. I think it was a, it was a mostly linear uh, progression. But you had the little, uh, like the little fairy blade, or not the fairy blade, you, you know what I'm talking about, well, you don't know what I'm talking about, unless you played Rayman 2. Um, there was like a world select screen in between the stages, like you would experience them in the same order, but, um, but you could teleport back and forth between them. Man, I really want to play Blinx. Just because I have a, a, a huge affinity in my heart for um, cute, cartoony uh, platformers. And, uh... Well, did Blinks get two games? I think that it was popular enough to get a sequel, right? There's Blinks and then Blinks 2. That's a pretty good sign. Um, especially since it came out towards the end of um, platform platformers' popularity. So if it was uh, popular enough to get uh, at least one sequel, it must have been okay. But then there's also a lot of one-shot platformers that I have vastly, vastly enjoyed. Um, I mean, there's ones like uh, Vex, for example, that had a really good setting, really good art and music, um, but had major flaws, and I could totally see why they didn't start a franchise, you know? Um, I think Vex's main issue was just the fact that it was so ridiculously hard. Um, I mean, for a... For a, a cartoony platformer, which is naturally going to attract an, an, a younger audience, um, Vex was just oppressively difficult, you know? Uh, I, I don't know how anyone, how any young gamers and how many adult gamers could get through that thing. It was kind of a chore. Um, it's too, too hard to be fun. Unless you're, like, specifically, you know, a, cha um, a gamer who, who plays specifically to be challenged, you know? Which is certainly out there, you know? There we go. But that's one of the games that I, I was not as impressed with. Um, one of the games I was absolutely floored with that never got a sequel was uh, Kaya. Was it Kaya or Kia? No, I think it's pronounced Kaya. K-Y-A. Um, female protagonist. It's about uh, this girl gets transported to an alternate universe. Uh, it's been taken over by these evil wolf creatures. She has to free the indigenous peoples. And that game was just so much fun to play. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and so much so that I'm considering replaying through and uh, actually recording those playthroughs on an emulator like uh, PCSX2. Uh, just so that I can I can add uh, Kaya to the list of uh, the games that I've done playthroughs on Underplayed. Um, just because it was just a, a joy to play. It was just very fun. The, it had a, a lot of varied uh, gameplay. Um, 
I found that the challenge was kind of just right. It was never super hard or super easy. Um, great characters, great, uh, wait a second. I think I've gone too far here. I need to go back into this area. This is where the main, uh, like, level select was, wasn't it? I thought it was. Um. No, Kyle was ab absolutely great, and I would I would love to play that again. Um, Scalar also, uh, I didn't enjoy it quite as much as I did Kaya, but Scalar had a great, fantastic setting. I mean, beautiful art and level direction. Um, and it really scratched that Ratchet and Clank itch, you know. Uh, but again, didn't didn't get a franchise. Mostly just do. And the only reason I can think for that is just the fact that platformers were not doing well at the time. Huh. I swear that I'm supposed to go through this area and then I get back to that main center area that lets me pick where I want to go. But I'm not getting that right now. What? Am I missing something? Must be missing something pretty huge. Where else could it... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, no, I, I think I just... Um, had a very poor memory of the map layout. I thought that this led to that uh, that kind of Central Park area, but I was mistaken. That's way over here. Oh, I wonder if we can uh, reach this in time. Boink! All right, a twenty-time multiplier. Even though I have more of these uh, little tokens that I could ever possibly use, it's still pretty compelling for me to just run around and pick all these up. Now this Larry Craft poster over here, let's check it out. No, I still don't quite uh, quite get what uh, what character he's supposed to be, if, if any character. I thought for a second he might have been the Shadow, the old 1930s pulp, pulp hero. But I um, don't think that's the case. All right, what do we have around here? It's curious why he's pictured that way on the poster, but he's got a the Lara Croft thing going on when we see him in the cutscenes. A lot of times with parody or comedy games, you'll just have stuff in there for the pure sake of funny and doesn't really uh, have an explanation. Which some people would call it lazy. I I don't personally ascribe to that. I think if it if it fits the bill, if it is actually humorous, then. Sure, you don't have to explain everything. Oh, is that uh, is that our friend that we're looking for? Get a fix. So we're here at Hulala. Hulala. Uh, I can't follow him. Strange. Okay, well, let's go check out the Oblix first. Now I'm saying obelisk instead of obelisk. Er, ob wait, am I saying it right? Yeah, obelisk, not obelix. Obelix is the character, obelisk is the pointy thing. Although presumably since these are all collections of landmarks, this is actually referring to the Washington Monument. From America, or even the, uh, it could be just talking about like Egyptian obelisks. We'll have to see. Now, the last subzone we were in, Venezia, um, obviously a, a uh, reference to Italian architecture. Yeah, this looks like these. This is an Egyptian obelisk, not a not the uh, American Washington Monument. So um, I'm expecting an Egyptian themed level now. Julius at Paris, not wrong. That is I. A message from your mother, Mr. Caesar. Really quite extraordinary, the internet us. I wonder how we ever managed before. Ave, Caesar! So, Centurion Larry Craft, have you stopped them? Uh, not exactly, noble Caesar. Uh, let's just say we uh, slowed them down a bit. My Jupiter! Oh, 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 oh! You have failed, I was sure! But they had a mark with them that goes out biting the backside of everything that moves! Enough, Centurion! I give you one more chance to stop them. Understood? Okay, I'll try again. 
This centurion worries me. Why does he dress in those ridiculous trousers? Can't he wear a skirt like everyone else? <laughs> oh, good stuff. So yeah, it, it's it's you know, it's goofy slapstick humor, but I love it. Uh we if we accidentally hit the level border. Uh, it'd be nice if if they are gonna have like uh, the levels partitioned off by load screens. If we had like a confirmation screen saying, "Do you want to enter the Lutetia level? Do you want to enter the, the next thing?" Just uh, accidentally triggering these borders sucks. All right, let's get back up there, up here, huh? All right. Yeah. Okay. Eager to see what kind of uh, in jokes we find here. All right, bounce some barrels. Oh, I thought that I could just go in the space between them. Clearly, I could not. Doesn't look like too much damage, though. Hey, it's Ko the Kangaroo. I recognize him. Um, I haven't actually played Ko. I would like to very much. It's actually on my agenda uh, for Let's Plays for Underplayed. But yeah, once again, referring to cute cartoony platformers. Now that might have something to do with why we're seeing references to things like Sly Cooper and Ratchet and Clank and Blinks, is uh, since this is a, you know a cartoony platformer, they're actually uh, you know giving uh, not favoritism, but they're the developers are most likely are very familiar with the genre and are definitely gonna make references to that, even if they don't make references to something like you know a shooter, you know. I'm pretty sure I've seen a Met uh, a Metroid around. Don't know that I've seen anything like Lord Freeman or anything that's referencing like a super violent mature game. Most of these are referencing uh, some, some younger games or games intended for younger audiences. I'd, I'd say. You know, we got Space Invaders, Bomberman, possibly Pokemon. If that was a Star U that we saw before. The great thing about uh, a game that's this level of references like this is you start like kind of imagining or you know you fill in the gaps. So you're like, oh, I'm pretty sure that's a star you, and then maybe the developers did not even intend for it to be such. You know, maybe they've never played Pokemon. That's a, it's an interesting statue there. The water is actually coming out of KO the Kangaroo's skirt. So it's like you're just uh, constantly breaking water <laughs> and uh, flooding, the, flooding the place with it. Great stuff. All right, so this bomb has not exploded. Let's see, where do I need to push it? Let's see if we can blow up this uh, statue of Caesar over here with it. Oh, actually, before we do, let's switch to our. Oh, no. Push it. There we go. Switch to asterisk and see what's in here. Oh, big bad guy. Look out. Stun him. Grab him. Oh, I accidentally hit the bomb with him. That's unfortunate. Okay. Don't look at this bomb. What's this button do? Lowers that. Okay. Let's bring it back up. So it looks like we need two bombs for some reason. I'm not really sure what that reason would be just yet.